Welcome, my name is Sean, and today I'm going to be taking you through a tutorial of Star Trek Online. The first one will be character creation. It's a basic video. Later on, I will be showing you how to do much more in-depth character creations. You can download Star Trek Online by Steam or Arc. Dot com. That's ARC.com. Regardless of how you do it, you'll end up with an icon on your desktop you can click on. The first screen you will see is one uh, with some information, but at the bottom it will say patching. Wait for the patch to finish, and on the right hand side you will see the word engage. Click on engage, and you will end up on this screen. Now, this is where you will start your career in uh, Star Trek. As you can see, I have several characters already, but you will not have any. What you will have uh, up here on the left of this panel is new character. So if you click new character, you will have options to choose. Now, later on in the game, you will be able to play a Klingon in Starfleet or a Republican uh, Romulan in Starfleet. But to start off with, you will have your own storyline, your own ships, and they are quite different. So to start off with, you could be Klingon. You could be in the future in Discovery. If you play this line, you will get some Discovery episodes and then be brought back to the normal timeline. You have Dominion, the original series, which starts you in the past. And again, you will be brought forward to the new timeline when you have done some old missions. I do like the original series. If you're slightly older, you may want to try there. If you're younger, you may want to do Discovery. Um... You also have Romulans, again, a different storyline to start off with, or you just have Starfleet. Starfleet is where the action is at the moment. You go straight in with today's star date. So you can choose a little bit behind, a little bit ahead. In the scheme of things, it doesn't actually make any difference. I'm going to start off with the original series because I think Everyone needs a bit of history lesson. And this is where you go. You get to meet some of your favourite characters as well. So you choose a faction, whichever one you want. The next buttons all work the same anyway. So as I say, Starfleet Online. You get a little um, avatar or toon in front of you, as you can see. Down the bottom right, you can click Next. Now, next allows you to choose uh, human, Andorian, Tellarite, or Vulcan. I'm going to go for human because it's at the top, but you, you will choose what you wish. Later in the game, you can bring other characters into the game but not when you first start off. Down the bottom here, you will see uh, female or male. It doesn't really matter what you choose. A lot of males play as females, and females play as males. It makes no difference. Nobody cares. Bottom right, click Next. Now, here you can see you've got different careers and different careers will give you different skills and different problem solving abilities so you've had a tactical science engineering um, whichever one you choose on your second turn try a different career you'll get different options for now, again, at the top, we're going Engineering Officer, and we're going to click Next. Now, 
on the next screen, you can choose uh, the appearance of your tune. You can change the look of his face, the age, uh, beards, no beards, um, different hairstyles, um, what he's wearing, uh, etc. Like uh, this, in here, you can choose a stance, make him a little look, a little. Excuse me, look a little gruff or <laughs> relaxed. I'm going to leave it on standard. Uh, the uniform, you have some very small choices of uniform changes. Once you get in the game and you've played a little while, you'll have a huge variety of choices to make, both in how your tune looks and what they were. Next, down the bottom right, now, this is important. You're going to keep this name for your whole career on this particular turn. So your captain's name, he's not starting off as a captain, but this is his name. I'm going to type in Sean. It won't let you put spaces in if you accidentally do that. Underneath the uh, forename, middle name, last name is all optional. If you want, you can add Sean, and then you could add a last name. I'll put in Hawkmoon. Doesn't matter. You can go back and change it if you made a mistake. Of course, I did that deliberately. Now, your ship name again, um, you can change it at a later date. But just for now, type in the name of your ship. There's a lot of enterprises out there, voyages. Try and be a little bit original. The same with the name. There's a lot of Kirks, a lot of Spocks out there. This is your game. It's your story. Choose your own name. Here, though, I am going to put in Hawkmoon as my ship uh, because it saves me thinking of a new one. Uh, underneath uh, here, there's a big button that says Engage, or bottom right says Engage. Um, once you push that, you're going to go into the game. Your character's set up, your ship's got a name, we're ready to rock and roll. Here you'll see the loading screen down the bottom. Some coloured lights move along to tell you how close you are to loading. If you've got a fast internet, it's really fast. If you haven't, you've just got to be a little bit patient. On this screen you can see um, that you're logged in and it gives you some options. Read the text. Text in these screens can be quite important. And if you just click next, you're kind of not getting the enjoyment. As you'll see when we go along, you can just click next, next, next. But you need to put yourself in the game. This is your story. You're in the movie. You're in the game, however you want to see it. Don't zoom past everything. Enjoy it. Too many people want to get to the top level too fast and they miss the beauty. So this is the end of my first video. That was a very basic log on, find out who your character is, ready to play. There's so much more to go. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe. I hope my first Twitter went okay and that uh, it helped you a little bit. And uh, I look forward to talking to you all again on the next video.